Hey everyone, I'm Daniel Cohn, Editorial Director of SPIN. I'm here with uh, the great Hannibal Burris. What's up, man? How are you doing today? Doing good, doing good. You got some news to share. We have, there's a new song out. New song, yeah, new song, new video. Veneers, Veneers Remix. With, with some uh, big names. Yeah, with uh, Danny Brown and Paul Wall. And uh, visuals, dope. Chris, Chris Merck directed it. Michael Reuter edited it. I worked with them on my last comedy special and a couple other projects so it was it was nice to get going on something else and uh yeah the record is i'm i'm hyped with the record you know it's it's funny with some stuff you make i think about just what excites you is is just based on kind of where you at uh creatively or, or whatever so as songs i look back it was like ex i was excited about them and i look man like whoa i was hyped about that except but this one uh and it's got a lot of bounce to it, man. And it's got a lot of energy. And so it's, a, it's a production is fun. I'm, I'm happy that it's out. It's, 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 nice. it's nice. How do you find time to fit in everything? Because I guess you're a true multi hyphenate now. It's, uh, it's time. Because I'm not doing. I'm not doing really any acting right now. And so that could take up a lot of, a lot of time, especially if you're uh, working on location for stuff uh but it still is time is shrinking man because you know i'm i'm starting to get back on the road and do some comedy shows and i'm doing music shows and doing combined comedy music shows and yeah you know finding the time to record and and you know family life also so uh yeah trying to it's a it's a it's got a structure and trying to is that that that's something you learn there's a different skill too with time it's like how to make the most out of out of the time or scheduling yourself really well and uh it's it's a uh, it shifts man it's, it's, uh, what is the making music scratch of, in terms of a particular itch that comedy may not or I think, acting for that. i think just it's a few things, but the main thing is I don't really sit around and watch my old comedy specials or listen to my comedy audio. I don't just like sit and vibe to it. Uh, it was fun. I appreciate that. I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad that some people liked it or watched it. And but I don't. But with the music, I'll listen to a song over and over and over. Like, I've been performing veneers, the remix at, in my shows, but I hadn't really listened to it heavily since we had uh, finished it, or since the video shoot actually in January. This is the last time I like, listened to it over and over and over and over. And then since I was getting ready to put the video out and everything, I was like, listening to it more and just noticing certain stuff of why we like, and I listened to it over and over, and I was just hyped about it and didn't get tired of it. I was like, this beat is dope. Paul sound dope. Danny killed his verse. I killed my verse. We made a dope song. And just and so I don't really do that with the comedy in that way, like get obsessive about just enjoying something I did. I can enjoy it, but I'm not like, again, again, again. And so it's just, uh, yeah, that energy of it. Is, is nice to, um, and the music travels differently. Mm -hmm. it's just it's more international, and so I'm excited about that part of it. Where immediately when I dropped my EP last year, conversations came up about me potentially touring in Asia, mm -hmm. which you know because music just moves differently. Like, I've done comedy in Asia, but you know, it wasn't like, it was just from its immediate, from, from the project dropping. So it's uh, it's exciting, man. It's just, it's nice to just be in a studio and have things, have the world kind of shut off, sound, soundproof, so you ain't hearing nonsense and extra stuff and, uh, and just just making a record and, and collaborating with folks is a it's a it's a good feel. So one of the causes you're passionate about is criminal justice reform, especially yeah. in Chicago. So Chicago feels like it's been just one of those cities where it's been long overdue for many years. Yeah. So what element of it 
I mean, could you, do you feel like in your position that you would have the power to like help facilitate change? It was, uh, well, one I was working with is Chicago Torture Justice. Um, and it's a, a lawyer, a friend of Sheila Betty, made me aware of it. And so there was, there's been a lot of cases of police officers in Chicago torturing. And so it, the, the goal was to just get reparations for both and bring awareness to, to just terrible police behavior in the shot. Cause it just seems like in Chicago of all the cities that you always hear about it and it's so frustrating that like nothing is being, at least on a major level that there's no real reform that's being done in the department. Yeah, it's so tough. It's a it's a rough system, man. And and, and yeah, I've donated to it a couple times and, and, and try to help out where I can and and Sheila does a lot of a lot of great work work for them and some great work around the city. In general, just you know, we've got a lot of great legal work that she does for for folks that that might not be able to afford it, and, and she 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 definitely fights for the people. Well, it's a it's a great cause to get behind for that reason, just fighting for the people because yeah. with comedy also, it's I've always seen comedy as truth telling, whether people like it or not. So I I feel like doing that is like you know backing up your yeah. art with you know putting what money where your mouth, whatever cliche you want to put in, it's supporting your art in yeah. some degree. Yeah, if it's, a, you know, especially when it, if you can see what the work that they're doing and you know that it's reputable people that are helping with the organization, then, you know, happy to donate, you know, and, and, and help it move forward. Yeah, it's, been, it's just, it's, it's great to hear that because a lot of artists may not or you know, may not be aware of what's going on in their own city and the fact that you're doing it is just really cool. Yeah, and it's just, you know, that's not everybody, it's not a requirement either when you, you know what I mean? Like if people, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's an individual choice. And so some choose to, some choose not to, or some aren't aware. Everybody got their own journey and, 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 and movement, you know. Cool. Well, thanks, Hannibal, for stopping by. Is there anything else uh, you want to tell everyone? Spin Magazine. Listen here. Is I've never been. I've never talked in this kind of setting before. Like sitting in a bus and just. Uh, but it's unnatural. You don't talk to people like this. <laughs> <laughs> like you wouldn't be sitting there if we were at, you'd be like, you'd be like right there. He wouldn't, yeah. Cut all this out. <laughs> <laughs>